All right. Uh, today, I will uh, explain about one of the uh, medium scale integrated components known as uh, multiplexer or short form as MUX. Okay. So, what is a uh, multiplexer? So, multiplexer is basically a, a data selector. Okay. The function is uh, it will select only a single input from multiple input lines based on the uh, data selector input and it will connect to the output line. So here we have uh, input data or data inputs. Okay. And this one we have a uh, data selector and we have output. All right. The most important thing to uh, note here is multiplexer only have one or single output lines, right? But it has a uh, multiple uh, input data lines and a number of data selector. All right. So how do we determine uh, the number of uh, input lines, okay, or input data? and the number of selector the output is of course only have one all right so let's say we have um, n selector which is n can be um, one two three and so on so forth so the number of inputs will be two to the power of n okay so let's say we have um, n equal to uh, 1, okay, so the number of uh, inputs line, number of input will be 2 to the power of 1, which is 2. So if we have n equal to 2, so the input lines will be 2 to the power of 2, which is 4. And if n equal to 3, so we have a total of eight input lines here so if we have n equal to uh, n equal to two let's say one two and selector can be named as s s1 and s2 so we know that the input lines will be two to the power of two which is one two three and four so i can name it as a i0 i1 i2 and i3 okay so this is how uh, we decide number of input lines based on the number of selector. All right, uh, let's see the simplest form of multiplexer. Okay, we consider n equal to 1 this time. So n equal to 1, which is we have only one selector. So we can name the selector as S, S0. Okay, and since n equal to 1, Okay, so the total number of inputs, okay, is equal to 2 to the power of 1, which is 2. Okay, so we can put two input lines here. I name it as a I0 and I1. And the selector is only 1, which is S0. And we have one output. So based on this form, we can, this uh, multiplexer is named as 2 by one multiplexer which is two input lines to the one output lines okay so internally this um, internally these input lines and output lines okay can be um, imagined of having this kind of switches okay so this is a remember the switch here so if uh, since S is only a single selector line, so S can take a possibility of between 0 and 1. Okay, so the selector input can be 0 or 1 because we have only one selector input. So how this work? So if S0 equal to 1, okay, so the input line I0 will close the switch and connect to 
this output line y and the output y is equal to i0 okay so next if s0 is equal to 1 so this one will be open or disconnected and the input 1 will be connected to output and y will become i1 so at one time only one input will be activated at the output side all right if you draw the truth table it will be something like this uh, s0 and y okay so uh, s is equal to 0 or 1 so when uh, s equal to 0 y is equal to i0 s equal to 1 y equal to i1 so you can write the uh, sum of product forms equation for this y equal to i0 s0 bar because we have a zero here always i1 and s0 so this part. so this is equation so you can actually um, you can actually uh, draw this um, component so y equal to um, i0 uh, s0 bar or i1 s0 okay so you have um, s0 okay and you have a uh, have uh, s here okay sorry for this All right and we have a uh, i zero and i one okay so you have um, the first and gate is a uh, i zero s zero bar okay so this is s zero bar i zero and the other one is um, sorry for this okay All right, I1 and S0. So we take this all. Okay, so this is the uh, Y. Okay, so if you go back to uh, our 2 by 1 multiplexer, this is actually the internal circuit for this 2 by 1, which is this is uh, I0 and this I1. And we have one output y and we have one data select all right so now we have uh, we see another example a type of a multiplexer uh, this time assume n equal to 2 so we have two data select here uh, s1 s2 and since n equal to 2 the total input line will be 2 to the power of n which is 4 so we have 1 2 3, 4. I name it as, a, as I0, I1, I2, and I3. And we have a single output Y. Okay. So uh, this is named as uh, 4 by 1 multiplexer. So if you draw the truth table of this function, okay. So since we have uh, two select uh, data, data selected, so we have S1 s0 and the output is y so s1 since we have two we have four input lines based on this uh, data select 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 okay so if you have uh, s1 equal to 0 s0 equal to 0 so this data line will be connected and the output will be I0 and similarly 0 1 will be I1 I2 and I3 okay so if you want to write the sum of product form for this uh, multiplexer 4 by 1 will be um, I0 S1 bar S0 bar okay here and next we have uh, I1 uh, S1 bar S0 
and next we have uh, for I2 I2 S1 S0 bar and the last one is a uh, I3 S1 S0 so this is how uh, we write the equation for multiplexer so um, you can draw actually the uh, logic circuit for that equation so the we have one two three four input lines i0 i1 i2 and i3 and last one we have uh, based on these two data select s0 and uh, s1 and s0 so internally is the logic circuit based on this logic equation okay so this is how we uh, design uh, multiplexer so i will explain uh, the last part actually okay it's quite important so when we deal with a uh, msi component or any ic apart from the uh, common input so i take this um, uh, four by one multiplexer this time one two three four okay this is four by one multiplexer we have to select input s1 and s0 and one output okay apart from these uh, inputs data normally there are another input control that normally associate with the msi component which we call it as uh, en you will see uh, in many books it's right as en this en is uh, re represent enable uh, inputs okay so uh, there are two forms so you normally see this uh, en is directly draw like this en or sometimes you'll see en with the bubble uh, before enter the ic so what means by this is uh, enable high and enable low okay so for enable high this enable input lines only active or is turned on when the input is high okay but in opposite if it is a enable low this input line will be activate only when enable is equal to low or equal to zero okay so what means by this so if you have here uh, we have uh, enable we have s1 s2 and y okay so if just now we draw our truth table only based on two data select but for uh, ic that come with the enable input it will become uh, enable s1 and s0 so in this case I put the enable high which is only active when uh, the input the enable is high so uh, it is a 3 so we have 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 and 1 1 1 okay so if this time enable is equal to zero all right when enable equal to zero no input will be activated at this output line which is y can become a inactive condition okay however when enable is activated because this is a enable high so when the input for enable is equal to one or high then this data selector will be activated so in this case when uh, enable is active so this one is zero zero so it will become similar to the previous explanation so when s1 and s0 is equal to zero zero the output will be i0 s1 and s0 is 0 1 this is i1 i2 and i3 okay so what happened to the uh, equation this time so this time will y will become okay what is the equation for y so we have to consider the enable input as well so 
uh, when the uh, enable high so the output the or sum of product form will be uh, e s1 bar s0 bar this i0 okay and until we have the last one which is uh, enable i3 s1 s0 all right so please uh, try to uh, check for this this is another important uh, elements when we learn digital logic design which is uh, enable input all right i think that's it for uh, this part okay so we'll continue with another msi component later on thank you